I feel like I relate to this book on so many levels. It's the immigrant's tale. It doesn't matter what part of the world you come from, this is your story. From civil war, strife, poverty, to refugee camps, to settling in a new and foreign land. From trying to overcome language barriers, to receiving governmental aid and public housing and trying to make do with what you have. I have yet to finish a book, I'm almost done with it, but um, it just resonated with me and I wanted to share some passages with you. At home we settled into a routine. My mother went to adult evening school. My father had passed a competency test for high school and the welfare people wanted him to work. That reminded me of all the mornings and evenings that my mother used to attend adult school. She would take a bus to go to the end of the city to take classes. Likewise, my father went from adult school quickly on to college and university, so I just remember him throughout my childhood, like studying for class after class. Before we moved here to Minnesota, I taught for a year and a half at an adult school, and I saw so many students that reminded me of my parents. If it was difficult and hard for us to adjust as the children of immigrants into this new country, imagine how hard it must have been for our parents. It wasn't easy. And it's definitely not easy now. I feel like 10 years have gone by, 20, and we're still struggling with the adjustment stage. From the moment we arrived, I knew that my family had survived a great war to bring me to this country. I understood that the conditions in Thailand and the camps were hard for those who knew more than I did. But for me, the hardness in life began in America. We are so lucky to be in this country, the adults all said. Watching them struggle belied this fact. We are so fortunate to be young, new lives opening up before us they believed, and yet the life in school that opened before me made me feel old in a world that was struggling to be young. A silence grew inside of me, because I couldn't say that it was sometimes sad to be Hmong, even in America.